Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Miss School. Today I'm bringing you a video answering a question I get quite often on stream, and that is, is Necrolord or Venthyr best in Arena and RBGs? I'll be answering that as well. And with that said, let's jump right into it. TLDR of this video pretty much is that Necrolord is better than Venthyr, and I think going into 9.2, Necrolord is going to be so much better than Venthyr because you'll be able to use their Covenant Legendary, which is Bountiful Brew, which is right now it's really really good but people don't use it because cloud of focus is so good but in 9.2 you'll be able to use bountiful brew and cloud of focus or bountiful brew and sefus which is those combinations are going to be absolutely amazing so i think overall necrolord is the best covenant for twos threes and rbgs but with that said i would still like to talk about when venthyr is good how it can potentially be used in case you're new to mistweaver or a monk in general for necrolord you get bone dust brew which you Put some brew on the ground and it gives your spells a chance to do damage or extra healing which is really good obviously if you're a windwalker you've seen the one shots if you're a mistweaver though it's really good because it lines up with a lot of short cooldowns that people have if you're playing against the dk pillar frost is a one minute cooldown uh warriors have a 45 second war breaker and any anything that has a short cooldown is really nice to have bone dust brew it gives you more healing as long as you're able to free cast and it's even really good for yourself when teams are targeting you you of course also have fleshcraft which was every class gets Flashcraft is great because it's on a different school and it gives you a shield in addition to the the soul bind the ultimate form which heals you and then makes you immune to to cc which again cc is a huge weakness that misweavers run into but fleshcraft kind of helps you out a bit with that venthyr also gives you some pretty cool stuff the covenant signature for monks is fallen order which is a three minute cooldown you summon some some little monks and then they heal deal damage and they tank if you're in a dungeon stuff like that so it's really cool they didn't do what they don't do a lot of damage unfortunately it's three minute cooldown does no damage the healing is very decent though the healing is great when they lock on the right target and then you also get dwarf shadows which again is on a different school than your normal your normal uh spell so it is nice for when you get interrupted you can help you can get away when teams are targeting you um but it does have it has like a kind of a long i think it's a half second or one second uh cast time so you will mostly get interrupted and it's kind of annoying when you're relying on it to get away and you're at low health i'll start with twos because i think a lot of people queue twos i think this is a bracket where you can really run whatever you want i because two starts in dampening your fleshcraft shield already is kind of not as effective as it is in threes or rbgs so fleshcraft doesn't do too much it does help you survivability of course but not a whole lot you're mostly using it for the cc immunity with ultimate form because the bracket on na i don't know how it is on eu but on na it is hunters hunter resto druid and resto shaman warrior so that's pretty much what you're queuing to oh and rogue mage so rogue mage is ultimate form is really good versus rogue mage so those are pretty much the three comps that you're running into and uh you know obviously the shield is already less effective than it should be but bone disprove is really good versus pretty much all those comps so that's why bone disprove is really good one minute cooldown lines up with a lot of cooldowns especially when you get out of uh cc or if you get out of lo being locked out still very effective now as far as venthyr goes you do get more healing with fallen order even in dampening i have done i have played games where the games have gone 10 12 minutes and fallen order still cranks like the healing especially with imbued reflection conduit is so it's still amazing so it does give you extra healing even deep into dampening but you don't get anything from door of shadows pretty much in twos there's usually only one kick and normally if you're gonna if you think you're gonna be targeted by warriors or you know rogue mage you're playing eminence i think necrolord is better just because again bonus brew is a one minute cooldown and you can trade it for a lot of cooldowns and get that extra healing in threes, it's kind of the same thing. You don't start in dampening, so you can get a huge Necrolord shield at the start of the game, which prevents teams like Rogue Mages, Red Warriors, even Jungles from opening on you. And it kind of gives your teams a little bit of advantage in the opener. Also, with Fleshcraft, you can, if you're playing against a Hunter, what I tend to do is I will Fleshcraft when I feel like they're about to open, and you could just avoid a trap or buy more time for the opener so stuff like that is pretty cool but venthyr is is really solid so venthyr is i've been i played a lot of venthyr i personally play venthyr because i think it's more fun um venthyr is very good versus shadow priest teams and balance your teams two casters that are in a pretty decent spot right now and you could use fallen order while silenced which is great so the first root beam you can normally fall in order and that especially if they use like incarn or if the other team uses another burst cooldown if they're playing with a warrior they'll play avatar or you use avatar you can use ink you can use your fall in order 
And then you could trade that and then you can, you can trade your trinket the next goes and focus T stuff like that. So Fallen Order allows you to trade overall. Uh, you're mostly queuing to jungles, Rent Warrior and Rogue Mage. So those are the three comps, anything above like 25, 2600, that's all you're going to queue into. So I think Necrolord kind of gives you the upper hand versus those comps. I think Necrolord, especially with ultimate form, has a lot of ways you could outplay the opponents as opposed to Venthyr where it's just more healing. Finally, we have the RBG bracket where I personally think you can run any Covenant and be good. I've done 2400 MMR RBGs as Kirin, Necrolord, Venthyr. And again, these are my own opinions. I think the most fun is Venthyr. I think the best Covenant for RBGs is Venthyr. The healing you get from Fallen Order is amazing. And what you also want to run is you want to run the Sinister Teachings Legendary, which makes it so when you crit healing, you while well, fallen order is up it reduces the cooldown of fallen order by five seconds so basically what you're doing is you're going to fall in order and you're just going to bomb heals you're going to use then focus t mana t essence font and then you're just going to bomb heals with renewing mist and vivify on, on as many people as you can you fall in order is going to be doing so many so much healing and you're going to be doing so much healing crits i can normally get fallen order down to about a minute and a half cooldown which puts it almost in line with bone to screw not quite but it's still a minute and a half cooldown on fallen order is freaking insane. I think RBGs allows you to do this because there's so many other people to kick than you. Normally in arena, you're kind of the main target to kick because you're casting everything. But in RBGs, you're you're not the only healer. You're not the only caster. So I think uh, uh, RBGs allow you more of an opportunity to take advantage of sinister teachings and yeah that's why I think it's the best one. You could still play Necrolord. I think Necrolord is probably the go-to for RBG players now, but I don't think survivability wise, like I think Fleshcraft helps with survivability. But if a team wants to kill you, they'll kill you. But if you can get Sinister Teachings down to a minute and a half, especially on like flag carry maps where you're not, it's not entirely a team fight, then I, I think I think uh, Venthyr is is the go-to for RBGs. Overall, I think that Necrolord is absolutely the go-to covenant for mistweavers right now and even into 9.2 i think it's only going to get stronger i think venthyr is the second best covenant it is i in my opinion it's much more fun to play than necrolord but again if you want to win and you want to min max you probably want to play necrolord venthyr is still good really good versus shadow priest really good versus balanced druids so keep that in mind if the meta if the meta does shift to shadow priest boomies um venthyr could be the go-to but I think overall Necrolord is still the best. With that said, that is pretty much it. Hopefully this answers any questions anyone might have. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that's pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later.